So it will be the show 22 is a decent game. I've enjoyed playing it, but I do have plenty of gripes and complaints that we're going to get to. So the game does feel slightly improved. It feels a little bit snappier and a little bit quicker and kind of everything you do. Not much, but just slightly here and there. The fielding feels a little bit better, especially like taking ground balls. It feels a little bit better. On the outfield feels the same. Hitting feels the same and pitching feels exactly the same to me. Now, I have not done the precision pitching or anything like that. I've just I've been a pure analog guy for like a decade now and I refuse to change I'm an old man and I'm just set my way so I'm not gonna change that I think I saw in one of the YouTube videos that SDS posted that the precision pitching got a little bit better or they improved stuff or whatever I don't know I haven't touched it I'm never gonna touch it so I'm not your guy for precision pitching analysis, all right? But I do have to say the textures and lighting for it will be the show 22 do feel improved. I feel like the textures are a lot more in depth. They look a little bit more realistic. And then the lighting feels a lot more realistic. Like the lighting really does pop, especially in the major league ballparks. Like they look really good this year. And it's not just because I just got a PS5 this year or anything like that. I had it for 21 also. And this year feels like it's definitely improved on that front. Front. So that definitely goes in the plus column. I definitely have enjoyed seeing the better textures and lighting in this year's game. So let's start getting into the negative parts of this video because it's mainly going to be that. And again, before we get in the negative, I'm not saying this game's bad. These are my gripes about the game. I do still enjoy the game. I'm still going to play it. And it's still a very enjoyable baseball game. But these are just things that just kind of bother me. And then if they were to add these things or improve upon these things, it would make the game nearly perfect in my opinion. Home Run Derby. Home Run Derby still does not have a night mode. Like what? I mean, come on. When's the last time you seen a Home Run Derby take place like at noon? Because that's what they give you right now. For the last, what, 10, 12 years that there's been Home Run Derby in MLB The Show, it's been during high noon, like one o'clock. And that just is never a thing. Even when they have West Coast All-Star games, they start at like at four or five and it goes to dusk to nighttime, right? Come on, MLB The Show, be better than this. Give us an option to have a nighttime Home run derby or at least an evening home run derby it's just frustrating i don't know why you can't do it during the night it's really dumb especially now that stadium creator has nighttime modes why can't home run derby have nighttime modes i don't know makes no sense to me again this is not a huge deal it's not a make or break thing for a game but it's just a frustrating little thing that i don't know why they don't fix it or improve upon it never made sense to me now you heard me kind of briefly mention stadium creator this is where a lot of my gripes are going to come in so stadium creator finally has night games woo and it has like weather and everything overcast rain everything yes we've wanted this for a whole freaking year this should have been in the game last year and I don't care what anyone says it should have been a last year's game it just plain out should have been or it should have been an update because it is honestly in my opinion pretty BS that they didn't put it in last year's game how do you go a full run of a game and not have night games I mean come on that was a pretty bad move in my opinion that they never improved upon that last year and the big selling point for this year's stadium creator is that they finally add night games it should have been a last year's game there's no excuses that really does frustrate me now stadium creator also has improved storage which is awesome i'm glad that they improved the storage you can really create some great ballparks and only take up like 60 percent of what you were doing last year when you were filling it up at like 95 100 right awesome but with that comes horrible horrible crashes i had a stadium crash on me the first night i had the game two and a half hours into it yeah of my time that i was creating a stadium it crashed right when i was done didn't save ton of people in the stadium creating community on reddit and online everywhere i've seen same issues they may be working on it for however long it crashed nothing is saved so sadly i learned my lesson when i recreated the stadium i lost every few minutes i'd start saving it or i get done in a section i'd save it that way if the game does crash everything would be fine i have noticed the game gets the most buggy when you're a stadium creator when you start messing with the lights when you start trying to place lights that's when it gets really buggy and it almost crashes every single time you have to kind of really be gentle with it for lack of a better term also i saw people online too talk about if you upload a stadium to the vault sometimes that even erases a stadium that you created too so that's super weird and frustrating i don't upload any of my stuff to the vault but i couldn't imagine some of these people spend like 10 hours on these stadiums and they go to upload it to the vault and then boof gone 
nothing. It just deletes. That should not be a thing. But for now, I guess people that if you want to upload to the vault, make sure you duplicate the stadium and save a hard copy, I guess you want to call it, and then upload the copy version to the vault. If that one gets deleted, oh well. But, you know, then try again. I guess it's just, you know, more information to know, right? And there's still no real difference on field features or anything like that for Stadium Creator. There's still no real AstroTurf. There's still no sliding pits. You still can't move the bullpens. And there's still no dome stadium options. All those should be in this year's game. It really should be because it should have been a last year's game. And before anyone says anything, look, about the dome thing, you know what? I can give them another year on that one. Okay, I understand. Maybe that's a lot for it to do and whatever. But to have old school AstroTurf and sliding pits and being able to move the bullpens, that shouldn't be an issue. That should be in the game. I don't even know how to code or make video games, but that really could not be that hard to add in the game. That would make the day for a lot of people because you can actually do some real retro stadiums then and it would just add that much more depth to the stadium creator mode just adding those few things but no we're not going to get that until maybe 23 or 24 that's if we get it that's if which we're probably not and then you also still can't change the dugout colors which is really frustrating when you have a theme of your whole stadium is say red and the dugouts are gray and blue i don't know why you can't change that makes no sense to me also why can't you change what side of your home dugout is maybe you want to be on the third base side instead of the first base side because they always put you on the first base side that stuff is also frustrating again these are just the little things that just drive me nuts another thing too why can't we put advertisements on the walls that's really frustrating also because some people try to create really cool stadiums where there's advertising on the walls and you can't do it i know there's some workarounds you know you can make a lower wall and put a, an ad behind it but technically it's just a tiny wall then right or a short wall i should say another hot topic in the stadium creator community is the ui change so the user interface did change this year from last year and it did throw me for a loop early on i did not like it it took me a good couple hours to, to figure out kind of how it all worked and how make it a little bit easier and i know a lot of people have complained about it that it's definitely a step back and i wouldn't argue that i definitely think there's a harder learning curve but i didn't dislike it once i learned it but i definitely don't understand why they changed it last year's was just fine i don't know why they felt the need to change it like why put effort into something that wasn't broken instead of creating new cool stuff like astroturf and sliding pits and domes and being able to move bullpens and change your dugouts and add ads on the walls and everything else like why not do that stuff in Instead, they put their time and effort into a UI design that didn't need to change. So that's kind of my gripes with Stadium Creator. I may have missed something here or there, but those are my main kind of things that just really wish would change and really wish they would improve. But with that said, I'm crossing my fingers that they'll be added into a future game. Not really hold my breath on a few of those, but hopefully they will, but we'll just have to wait and see. So another thing too, again, with kind of the creator side of MLB The Show that just really bothers me for Diamond Dynasty people, and for people like me who just likes to do custom teams, why can't we do more than two custom uniforms? This is MLB The Show 22 on the newest hardware of the PS5 and Xbox Series X, right? Why are we still stuck with just two freaking uniforms? You should give us an option at least for one alternate uniform because I tell you what, you've played through a full season in franchise mode with a custom team, seeing the same two uniforms game after game gets pretty tiring before anyone makes an argument like hey the tigers wear only two uniforms or the yankees i get it that's great that's real life in a game i want to mix up the uniforms here or there I, I want an alternate you know it just would make it that much more in depth and fun at least aesthetically to me that's just my opinion on the matter i don't think it really bothers too many people all that much but it bothers me again i don't really know about video game creation or anything like that but i don't think that would take that much computing power to make that happen but still we're stuck with two Two uniforms hopefully next year they add it but again i'm not holding my breath on that one either sadly apparently franchise mode is improved i saw videos about it some people are saying that it is the the computer is a lot smarter when it makes trades and stuff like that to be 100 honest i haven't done enough of franchise mode to be able to tell you that yeah it's a lot smarter or no it's about the same the franchise mode i have is all custom and everything like that where i have like a perfect team so i'm not really trading or anything like that if it has changed and gotten better let me know or if it's about the same let me know down in the comments and diamond dynasty 
once again seems about the same. I hardly put any time in Diamond Dynasty. It's just not my thing. I'm glad people out there love it. I like the idea of it, but I just find it kind of stupid to be completely honest, especially every single year how none of the cards you buy or receive don't roll over to the next year's game. That doesn't make really any sense to me. Like, why can't you have cards roll over from year to year? Then I understand why you would invest into a virtual card thing, right? Like that would make a lot of sense to me. Like you'd buy a, a Diamond 99 Griffey, you know, from 2017, right? But you'd be able to play with it this year because you bought it four or five years ago. But no, it restarts every year. And I get it, you know, that way they can change the meta and ha add players and such. I mean, I understand it. It just kind of takes away a little bit for me. And another thing too, it just popped in my head. We weren't able to transfer rosters and stadiums and will be the show 21 to 22. How frustrating is that? Again, we are on modern hardware of the PS5 and Xbox Series X. And still, we cannot transfer last year's stadiums and rosters that we created to this year's game. Come on, that, that's that's just something that you should be able to do. But there's no doubt my, my biggest complaints of the show 22 are about the aesthetics of it and Stadium Creator. Those are my kind of my two biggest gripes. And I really wish they would have made a bigger step forward in Stadium Creator, but I'm not surprised that they didn't because there's no money in it, like Diamond Dynasty, that's the mode they care about, and that's the mode they put the most effort into because it makes them money. It's frustrating, but I get it. It's a business. You know, I respect that. I understand that, but I really wish that they would just add more stuff for people who don't like Diamond Dynasty. You know, they say they improve franchise. Who knows if they did? I haven't spent enough time with it. Like I said, they just had to do just a few different things, and then it would feel like we got so much more in Stadium Crater or Home Run Derby or Custom Teams or anything like that but they didn't you know we got night games for stadium creator and that's it so some people out there spent eighty dollars just to have night games in custom stadiums and that's kind of what i did as stupid as that sounds that's kind of what i did this is definitely an s version of MLB the show and when i say that remember back in the day with the iphones we'd have like the 4s the 5s and the 6s if you don't remember those pretty much just a mid-tier version of those phones so the 6s is just slightly better than the 6 right or the 5s is just slightly better than the 5 and that's why i'm calling MLB the show 22 an s version game because it's just slightly better than last year's game but it really did not blow me out of the water of like, wow, this game was really great and it changed so many different things. Like, oh my goodness, this is awesome. It just, it did not do that this year, not at all. It is definitely an S version game. And it's a little disappointing. I really thought this year they were gonna take even a bigger step forward. Cause I did feel like last year they did take a step forward, especially on the next gen consoles, or I should rephrase that current gen consoles for like the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. But no, in the show 22 just kind of holds its ground. But with that said, I think that kind of wraps up my first thoughts, my first impressions on this game. I'm still debating if I want to do an in-depth video of is MLB The Show 22 good, where I really break down the game and give my real in-depth thoughts. We'll see if I do that this year. I'm not 100% sure because it really is similar to last year's video. I'll have it linked as a card or down below, or you can just check out the playlist on my channel. If you really want my in-depth thoughts on last year's game, which will pretty much probably transfer over to this year's game, I'm still up in the air on that. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to do that because those videos take a ton of work. So we'll see if I get to that or not. But either way, those have been my initial thoughts on this game. Again, a lot of complaints on Stadium Creator and more the aesthetics of the game. The, the core gameplay and stuff are still fun and enjoyable. Don't get me wrong when it comes to this game. It, it's been fun and enjoyable for over a decade, right? Like we know the formula of, of MLB The Show. It's always been enjoyable to me. I, I do enjoy my time playing it, but they just improve these few things. The game feels almost perfect then instead of just, yeah, it's pretty much the same as last year with like lights and Stadium Creator. That's about it. But those have been my gripes. Those have been my complaints. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section. How have you enjoyed this game? You loved it? Hate it? Let me know down in the comments. And while you're down there, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, that'd be greatly appreciated. Until next time, guys, everyone have a great day. Thanks for watching.